Hey guys, welcome back to more AFK Arena. In today's video, we're over on the test server. Link in the description if you want to get onto it. But we are here because we have anniversary party events. We've got some skins, we've got all the good stuff. So let's get into it. Okay, when we jumped into it, the first thing you can go to is the events here and you can get a dolly skin, just click on it, click free. She gets the skin in the tavern, you can equip that. Then we have anniversary party. I love these big events that they do. Now we have the skins. So the, wait, let's go there. Uh, I feel like it needs to scroll a little bit. I feel like it, 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 it breaks off the bottom here. I thought I was missing something. But anyway, Gwyneth skin, unfortunately only attainable through money unless I've missed something, which sucks for free to play players. Yes, if you really want the Gwyneth skin, but hey, I'm, I'm cool with paid skins. Like it doesn't actually affect the gameplay. Um, yes, it sucks if you're free to play. I'm gonna be a bit sad on this account, my free to play account where I can't actually buy it, but I will buy it on my main account, but it is just skin, doesn't affect the gameplay. So I'm actually okay with that. Plus they do give us the chicken skin, which we can get um, from events. So that is gonna come from, if we go resource acquisition, the forest escapade. Now we'll talk about that in a sec. Uh, we do have the Roma's Rap Rhapsody and the forest escape. So if we go over here into the Voyage of Wonders, we can see that the Roma's Rhapsody is actually the Voyage of Wonders. So I will do a video on that, um, its own guide in the future, in a few days before it comes to global anyway. But if we go back over here and we jump in, whoops, not that one. If we go to the anniversary party and then we go to the forest escapade. So once again, this one here, if we go how to obtain, there we go, Forest Escapade. So this isn't the Voyage of Wonders, but it's similar. And you can see the rewards we can get. Um, we can get the, the skins, we can get a copy of the both the new heroes, which is cool. And then we can get the chicken skin. And then we can get some other goodies. These ones are really, really good chests. Like if you're on a fresh account, damn. The, the experience on a fresh account is going to be huge. Plus you get some upgrades, all that sort of stuff. So not too bad on these chests. You get a fair few of them. There's going to be some good rewards in there. And that's how I understand it. This one is just like a, its own event, whereas the other one is the Voyage of Wonders. So if we jump in here and we go begin adventure, we can go ahead and see this. Peggy, yada, 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 yada. And then we go in. So it's basically like another Voyage of Wonders. So this one as well, I will do its own guide for. I'm not going to throw that in this video, um, but that will definitely, I'll definitely get that out before it comes to global. And I'm going away tomorrow for Easter. So I'm going to have to really get my act together today. Um, but basically, essentially, in, in, in essence, we have two Voyages of Wonders uh, going at the moment. Um, kill stuff, get through stuff. And like I said, we'll do that in a guide, but we get some nice rewards from that. Now, the next thing we do have is a look back. This is a really cool feature that I actually do quite enjoy. Um, it tells you about your progress on your account. Um, this one was cool. Like that, that was the one time I got three elite cards. I want to see a screenshot of someone showing me that they got five purples. I still have not got a Penta. Uh, I know some people's accounts will probably show quads here, but I want to see someone is please, please send me on discord a screenshot if yours has five here or six or seven i don't care what it is <laughs> i'm i'm gonna get some photoshops i know but le let me know i'm keen to see it uh moving on from that we have a bunch of different things this one really tilted me the person who has reached out and aided you the most was vk125 their most frequently loaned hero was belinda i do not i do not ever remember mercenarying a belinda maybe like in the real i don't even know when like i i swear I swear Lilith are trolling me here. I swear that's like an April 1st, like an April Fool's joke or something like that. But they got a bunch of cool little information you can look at for your account. I know you guys don't give a crap about my account. So you guys look through yours and you'll have a bit of fun looking at some of the statistics in there. The next thing that we do have is a musical tribute. So here we got the login rewards. Now I'm gonna to go to the info for this one to let you guys understand it. So during the event, the players are able to claim up to seven daily login rewards. Players can unlock the corresponding musical note clues after claiming the login rewards for the day. By following the clues, players can try to find corresponding musical notes hidden throughout the game and then illuminate them in the events page. In addition to the daily login rewards, the final reward chest can be unlocked on day 14 of the event. But basically it goes through and says you can solve clues. I'm, not, I'm just going to paraphrase now. Um, and you can unlock it in seven days if you find all the hidden stuff and get all the goody clues. So the final chest is not too bad. We do get a flora from it. You know, I, like I'll, I'm going to get flora. To be fair, two free Rakus, two free um, Peggies ain't too bad either. 
if that's how you want to look at because we do get the other one from the event so what we're going to do here is click this um da -da 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 -da. i heard a performance by yada 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 hint character portraits where did I hear it again? It seems to be a little girl holding a broom. So this one, to me, it says hint character portraits. We've got to go to the character portrait. Can you read these ones? No, we can't. So if we go out here and we jump over to heroes, portraits, little girl holding a broom. I feel like there should be something in here that I'm looking for. Story. There it is. See the note? They're hidden. So you can go ahead and get that. So now that gets us one day closer to getting that final chest. So if we go back out here and we go to anniversary party and we go into the musical tribute, uh, unlocks in 13. Did we actually get something for that? I don't, wait, wait. Okay, there we go. We had to click the note. See, and now it unlocks in 12 days. So it seems like each day you're gonna log in, you're gonna get the reward. You're then going to click on this thing. It's going to give you a clue. You find the hidden musical note inside the game, and then it's going to take a day off. So essentially, you get all the rewards in seven days if you do all these little things. Now, if you want, you can just leave it, wait for the seventh day. At the end of the seventh day, uh, that's what I'll probably do on this one. At the seventh day, I'll make a quick video showing you where they all are so you can buzz through and do it. So if you want to just wait and not collect any of them, um, I'll have a video so you can just go through and do them all at once. I'm pretty sure that's how it'll work and it'll be nice and easy so that you don't have to actually try and think. But if you want to think, go ahead, go nuts. Um, but that's not a bad event. So like I said, it looks like we've essentially got two Voyages of Wonders, which is nice. We've got the Forest Escapade and the Roma's Rhapsody. Let's have a quick look at what we do get for rewards from this one. Um, we get 10 stargazers, which is nice. We get 30 stones, get 10 of these. We get 10 scrolls. That's good. I, I like these ones where we get 10 scrolls and we get 10 um, stargazer cards. Not as many rewards, so hoping it's going to be a pretty short one. Um, but besides that, not too bad. I don't know where you get it. I think this is the only place you can get into that forest escapade. But once again, pretty good rewards from this one as well. So overall... I think it's a really good event. I think it's a really good event with plenty of decent rewards to keep us going. Um, like I said, those chests are nothing to frown at. Like you get some good resources out of those chests. Um, honestly, on my 827 account, I'm tempted to pick up all these 20 purple ones. I probably won't because I feel like the experience will help me more, but the 20 stones, man, I need to get my irons to 10 signature item, like <laughs> ASAP, but a lot of good stuff nonetheless coming in this event. We do get the chicken skin for free. Once again, sorry to anyone who was really desperate to get the Gwyneth. I know I was, but um, wait, ooh, disclaimer, shall no longer be available once the event has ended. That's a big disclaimer. So with this one, if you want it, if you're thinking about it, just buy it. So she's my girl. She's wicked. Limited time. Limited time. Limited time skin. Pay the cash. Up to you. Once again, it's only a skin. It doesn't really matter. But anyway, guys, that is the look at the events. If there's anything else coming that I've missed, I will cover it. Like I said, we'll do the Forest Escapade and the Roma's Rhapsody in another video. I'm going to be busy today before I go on holidays. Anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.